Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. It's just about time to go explore the Road of Sacrifices. But before that, let's talk with a couple of new people that I've gathered up to my hub here, and also level up. Well, very well. Then I'm going to put a point into Vigor so that hopefully I can wear my helmet while using the halberd at the same time. Or sorry, not Vigor, Vitality. Farewell, Ashen One. Okay, Make what... What am I at now? Uh, equipment? There we go. 73.3%? Man! Gotta be below 70. That sucks. Guess I'll take off my helmet again. Or maybe I should take off my gloves. Let's take off my gloves. There we go. Gets me under the threshold while still giving me more protection. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you will need a flame of your own. Thank you. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> I'm never going to use it. To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> Oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the Great Swamp and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. <laughs> to learn pyromancy I am... Some pyromancer's armor. Looks like that's it. Do not be gone for long. Oh, champion of ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Ah, she's a miracle person. Saint's Ring allows attunement of additional spells. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. You know, in my home, I would, but if oh, terri I pray for your safety. Here we go. Road of Sacrifices. Looks like a crow creature. Sort of like a humanoid crow. One's got a scythe. That 
thing is really disturbing looking. Oh god. Ugh. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Those things are terrifying. And they like going into frenzies. Hi. Shriving stone. Undo weapon infusion. Hmm. Oh god, don't fall, don't, don't fall, don't fall, holy shit. Oh, I was like sliding the entire time. Yeah, there's nothing down there but death. It's a treasure. So it is. Two of them. Feels like distance is not the way to go. Trying to get enough distance from them to avoid getting hit? Maybe I should try to get behind them. See what the hell's happening. What the hell is that noise?
Great Corvian Scythe. <sighs> 16 strength, 18 dexterity. Great Scythe of the Forlorn Souls guided by heretical storytellers. The mistress of the painted world is said to wield a great scythe herself. Great scythes inflict profuse bleeding, such that the blood splatters on the wielder. Another one. That must be the nest up there or something. Perhaps that's what the scream was. Was that maybe... Is it summoning another one? Is it like the... Oh. Is it like the lookout? Bye. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, there's something down there. Please, stop making that noise, please. Hmm. If I go down there, I wonder if there's a way back up. Perhaps it's the only way to go, actually. Neck ahead. N neck? What? Yeah, I think it's the only way to go, actually. So going down there is the intended route, but it looks like if you go down there, there's no pathway along the cliff face that actually leads to over here where the enemy fell down on, so I guess I should fall down here. Wait. Can I actually go there? It looks awfully far, doesn't it? Is there a pathway? I kind of see a pathway. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die if I fall down there. Like, I'm 99% certain. If I die, are my souls going to be left up here where I can't get them? I've only got 2,000 souls, what does it matter? I'm going to try to, like, bounce off the rock. Come on. Oh! Wow, okay. Brigand Twin Daggers. Requires very high dexterity. The damage is extremely low, but of course that's, um, dual wielded weapons, I'm sure. These paired daggers are the preferred weapons of the brigands of a distant land. 
When two-handed, the wielder holds a blade in each hand, allowing for divergent attacks that include left-handed moves. Skill is Quick Step. Instantly step behind or around the side of foes. Especially effective when locked on to target. I want to try that out. I want to see what the moose sets like. Um, let's wait till I get somewhere safer. Hi. Whoa! Angry. Why don't you have a name? A nameless, almost completely naked foe, wielding a massive cleaver. Or butcher knife. How very strange. Requires 24 strength. Whew! Look at how much damage it does compared to the Great Machete, though. Even though they both have the same strength requirement, it does, like... 67 less damage? 72 less damage? There's gotta be something else to it. It can't just be strictly worse, right? Are the weights different? Hmm, it is a lot lighter. But still, it's not worth it to use a lighter weapon to have almost half the damage. I don't know, maybe it's faster at attacking or something. Okay, let's take a look at that armor. It was brigand? Yeah, brigand. So compared to what I had on before, which was northern, it's actually slightly heavier. So if I go with northern and then compare this to it, how does it look? Very slightly heavier. And... slightly better. Hmm. Significantly worse frost and curse protection, but aside from that, it's moderately better in pretty much everything else. What about this? Oh, that is so much lighter. It's also not nearly as good. Hmm. Also much lighter. Not nearly as good. Hmm. Heavier. And not as good. So apparently my northern trousers are pretty cool. Hmm. I kind of want to use them. I mean, if I switch to the brigand armor, I won't have to worry about weight nearly as much. Let's see what it looks like. When did my face get so ugly? I don't actually know what controls when you look human and when you don't. Maybe when you go back to a bonfire, you become human again or something? I don't know. Anyway, hmm. Well, the armor looks a bit mismatched because of the leggings, but I really don't want to switch them out. It weighs more, and it's just not as good. Except for bleed and poison resistance, but meh. And I'm at 47.6% on the weight, which is really nice. So now I can just throw in the S-Dock as an alternative weapon and just leave it and not worry about it. 
All right, we'll see how this goes. This is where they're all pouring out of, I think. And that thing was making the shrill cries. That goes back to where I came from. Okay, we're good. Jumping off. No thanks. <laughs> Goodbye. I mean, it's a bird, it's probably fine. Oh, no, it died. Don't tell me there's another one because I'm out of healing. No, that's it. Okay. Whew. Hidden path ahead. Hmm. I see it. Let's go there and hope there's a bonfire or something. Actually, wait. Can I? I don't. Even, I don't think I can survive that fall with my health. <laughs> no, I don't think I can. Okay, I want to try fighting these with the s dock. See if it's easier or harder. Oh my god, I think it's going to be way easier. wanted to soften them up a bit. They can't chase me here, right? Look at it waiting. This one died somehow. Wait. It's not dead, it's sleeping.
Give me my souls. Frenzies are brutal. I just don't know what to do. I just keep like constantly dodging and then I run out of stamina. Stop doing that. You know, I'm just gonna go down here. Doggy. Multiple doggy. A ring. Boosts miracles. Well, useless for me. A malformed ring given to Knights of Karim boosts miracles. Morn served the goddess Kaitha and later became an apostle of the Archbishop. They labor together to provide comfort to the suffering. Ah, wow, that was fast. The Divine Tomb in Braille for that woman. How did that miss? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go here, but I'm just gonna run back across the bridge. Well, maybe I'll get a backstep in first. That wasn't a backstep. Oh my god, there's too many! Nope, I'm out. Oh god, they're coming down here. Let's hope just like one came down here. Oh, something died? I think the one that tried to follow me fell off. There's no way I can take four at a time. Hell no. Yeah, come on, come here. Nah, they're not gonna bite. Or maybe. Come closer. Come closer. Gotcha. The blade literally went right through its entire body. That is such bullshit. The strong attacks just don't seem to make contact with these enemies very often. Inexplicably. A 
Okay, yeah, the S-Talk is definitely absolutely better at taking out these enemies. Ah, oh, bonfire. And... people. I want to know what it is that makes me look human. Is it when I go back to the shrine? Also, probably want to level up. Yeah, I think I have enough. <laughs> no, I definitely still don't look human. What if I rest at the shrine? No. What if I level up? Welcome home. Then topic. Oh, I'm. Wow, I'm exactly 100 short. Go strength. Farewell, Ashen One. And nope, still don't look human. Who are you? Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Sirius of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the divinity. Duties we each bear. But one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. I doubt we've much to gain from the blessing of the moon. Come to think of it... Didn't the person with the massive helmet and, like, cudgel thing also join me? You know, while I'm here, I might as well give her the... the tome. Oh, do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. Sure. You know, in my home of Kerr, I would be pleased to... Well, though, to that's, oh, that's not terrible. a tale. Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> have a pleasant journey, champion of... Give her something nice to read? Must be boring down here. So yes, where is that other person? I don't know. I'll check later. Oh, yes. And now that I've upgraded my strength, I can get rid of the Red Hilted Halberd and go for the other one. Um, hmm. How does it compare to the Lucerne? This Halberd. Lucerne does very slightly more damage. Well, actually does the same damage if you consider the difference in the extra damage. Hmm. Nah, I like Halby. Uh, but yeah, now that I can use this one... That means I can use the special attack. And it's not going to do something that's useless for me. It's going to do this instead. Oh, hello. How do you do? I'm Anri 
of a storer, unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We're well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of Lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Oh, yes, Horace. He's not very talkative, but don't think ill of him. He is an upstanding, kind-hearted knight, a fine partner for this gruelling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road beyond... We then may the... <coughs> Just grunts and give, gives me the blue sentinels. Is that a covenant? It is. Equipped to pledge oneself to the blue sentinels covenant. When a member of the way of blue is threatened by a dark spirit, the blue sentinels, in compliance with an ancient accord, assume the form of blue spirits and help to root out the invader. What does my current one do? Ah. They place their golden signatures to help those in need. So that's if somebody needs a, a summon to defeat a boss or something like that. So this one will summon me just passively if somebody needs my help, I think. Or is this one I have to actually do something to make it happen? Hmm. Wait, is there a difference between Blue Sentinels and Way of Blue? No, it both says they're part of the way of blue. This one's a pale blue sheepskin, this one's a faded sheepskin. I guess in case you missed one of the other ones, they give you multiple types of the same thing. The weird thing is, though, they have different descriptions that say the same thing, but in, in different words. Hmm. Anyway, I'll stick with my current one, because I don't, I don't think I want to be randomly summoned. It might take me out of the world when I'm trying to do something important. Things on fire over there. Hmm. Those things sound really scary. Groaning zombies that I'm sure as soon as I go near them, they're gonna come to life and try to stab me with their eight foot spears. Six damage, really? That's better, but still. I don't know, maybe that attacks more about knocking enemies down and uh, stunning them than doing damage? Because that seemed pretty weak for something that uses up almost all of your stamina. Oh boy, I'm gonna get lost in these woods. Barnacle creatures that way. Zombies that way. This reminds me of the Witcher.
can backstab him. Come on. Ah, well. Bad idea. Bad idea. I need to get behind them, but the problem is there's three of them. No, no. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. They're really dangerous in groups. Honestly, I should just go back. I'm out of Estus. Yeah, I'm a bit underwhelmed by that special attack on the Halberd. I could see certain enemies, it being really good for them. You know, if you're only fighting one enemy and perhaps it's very strong. Then perhaps. But... Let's go back with this and see how this works. God, the s dog is so good! Oh, but I like the Halberd too, but it just doesn't do as much damage. Okay, let's try to take them off one by one. Should I go first? Let's skirt along the wall this way. Does it think it's camouflaged? It's got a lot of health, that's for sure. Heard it? Oh, look at you. You're so cute. You're so cute. Ow. Meanie. 
Oh, I'm not gonna kill it. It's too adorable. Oh, <laughs> the ghost scared me. Lizard prisoner. Oh, hey. It's one of those things I killed at the very beginning of the game. Can I free it, or do I have to kill it? Right required ahead. Hmm. Up there? sword garb. Let's see how that compares to the brigand hood and all that brigand stuff. Okay, uh, it weighs more. Mm. Significantly more poise. But in general, it's kind of worse. No on the helmet. Significantly heavier, but it's also significantly better. Way worse resistance against frost and poison and stuff, though. Hmm. Like, way worse. Don't think I'll switch that one out, either. Worse in every way except for weight. No thanks. Lighter. Significantly worse. Nah, I'm good with my equipment. Please don't hear me fall. You know... Maybe I should use my spook spell. Nah, I have to equip like a wavy wand thing or something, who cares. Oh, what does this say? Don't give up. Thank you! Anyway, what was I doing? No! I took you too long. Holy shit, you do a lot of damage! You know what? Let's just end the episode like that. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna go get my souls back. <laughs>